guys, I am Shane Davis, 20-year comic book veteran, and today I am here to talk about Batman, I'm mainly Absolute Batman. Absolute Batman! Here we go! Let's just put a word in front of Batman and repackage it as being brand and new with a very well-known Batman writer, Scott Snyder himself, probably hitting some of the biggest hits in Batman's history for probably like the last 10 years or so, I guess. So, uh, you guys mainly know him for you know, DC Metal, working with Greg Capullo and Court of Owls, all of that good stuff. So why is all the Twitterverse and people upset with this new Batman? Barry, here we go. Scott Snyder saying every angry tweet only makes it grow 1% bigger. I don't think he's talking about a uh, little Scott Snyder. I think he's talking about the bat symbol. Uh, a lot of people upset with this bat symbol. Why? Why are they upset with this bat symbol? Probably because it doesn't look like a bat. Why doesn't it look like a bat? Well, probably because DC Comics is losing the intellectual property, meaning it's going to become public domain, meaning you yourself, you yourself in like 2035 or something like that can make your very own version of Batman based off of his first appearance and everything that's in that first appearance and only the things that are in that first appearance, but you can build off of it, meaning that first appearance can be just the foundation. Just like Steamboat Willie, there will be tons of studios already working on a version of Batman, ready to hit the streets the day the clock passes midnight and it's public domain. There will be, I promise you, Right now, there'll be like at least two versions of Batman trailers out the next day. And probably one of them will look like a uh, B-list horror movie. Why? Because it's legally distinct in a way. If Batman's murdering, he's out here murdering. So why is this happening? Uh, well, besides the public domain, this is uh, has to happen. It has to work. You're looking at a sales chart here with uh, X-Men number one. Now, that's not too jarring here. You're like, Shane, it's X-Men number one. It's a relaunch. It's uh, They put Gail Simone on it, whatever. Big reboot, Deadpool, Wolverine. Why wouldn't it be number one? Well, I'm going to ask you, why would Batman be all the way uh, down here somewhere? Where is Batman? Where is Batman? We got a... Uh, don't see it. Batman 150, number 26. Now, Batman, it's supposed to be this book that's uh, usually rests around the top 10. It, it rarely ever leaves the top 10, maybe top 20. But it's all the way down here at number 26. I mean, we're talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number one. Ultimates, Amazing Spider-Man, Transformers, number 10. Number 10 in Transformers. A lot of people loving Skybound's Transformers and G.I. Joe, the Energon stuff. Hearing a lot of good things about it. NYX number one. X-Force number one. Ultimate X-Men number five. Star Wars. Ahsoka number one. Outselling Batman. A lot of problems are happening at DC Comics. See, Batman's kind of like a measure of the health of the company. Uh, most of the chart, especially ICV2, is uh, acknowledging that Batman sells 100,000 copies. That doesn't mean it sells 100,000 copies. That's just like a placeholder number. It's probably selling closer to 60,000, I would say, right now, maybe 80,000. The direct market's in rapid decline, guys. And a lot of people are looking for to something to jump on. A reason to... Uh, DC has to shake it up with Batman. We're seeing a lot of people over here obsessed with Snyder's Nick Gregoda's absolute Batman design. The bigger, the chunkier, the logo, the better. Again, here, it's almost taking up his whole torso. This, of course, fan artwork. A lot of fans are trying to get behind it. But I saw this, and uh, so it turns out it's actually a metal plate and turns into an axe. No idea why they're cooking or what they're cooking with absolute Batman. Well... Why do things like this? Why have like an axe blade that comes off his chest? Because it starts to make a legally distinct version of Batman. Uh, you see what's happening here? A lot of this, there's two things happening that DC absolutely, they got to apply a tourniquet. One is the decline of interest, okay? If nobody's interested in Batman, then what is DC Comics? And I know a lot of people say, Shane, there's Superman, there's Wonder Woman, there's Booster Gold, there's all these rich characters. In the end, most of the money from Warner Brothers, and take it from me for working for them for 20 plus years, 
is uh, selling Superman shirts, selling Batman t-shirts. Um, that is where most of the money comes from, that type of iconic branding, the simple uh, logos. And that's what's at jeopardy here. What if pretty soon anybody can make a Batman t-shirt? Think about that. The original Batman symbol from the original first appearance of Batman will become public domain. They will start to lose that. So they now have to come up with a new Batman symbol that they own and that they will sell. And this is a fool's errand, okay? Batman, I think Batman is one of these pop culture icon characters that happens once in a million years. You can't just make that happen again. You can't just make a lightning in a bottle happen. And uh, I would also start to say Batman has had, uh, you know, Frank Miller came in and, of course, put his stamp on Batman that kind of made him distinct and stand out from all the other superheroes, especially the DC superheroes. For a corporation to try to replicate this or make a variant of this that will sustain and people will care about, it just is impossible. And again, I've said this a million times about the absolute stuff that I'm seeing, especially with Superman and Batman. And uh, Wonder Woman, which I'm the least interested in with her uh, Cloud Final Fantasy VII sword, is I don't see this lasting, okay? And I, I don't even really know how much money they sunk into this. And I, I will say the money they've, they've sunk into this probably went mainly to Snyder. I don't think it went to Nick Dragota. Nothing against him. I actually like him as an artist. East of West was great. But everything I'm seeing from the absolute stuff all looks like new characters. The idea that he's big, he's burly, he's got really no resemblance of a bat. I don't even know if he's swinging from ropes and stuff. He's got an axe that comes out of his chest. 99% oh, of this seems like it could be a new character. And I said the same thing about the, what we know about the new Superman. And that's the big crime here is a lot of comic creators. Um, you know, when we're seeing comic creators getting evicted or working for mainstream comics and not having anything to their name. A lot of comic creators are still going back and doing the same repetitive motions, and that's trying to make new things for Marvel and DC in hopes to, uh, I, I don't even think it's to get rich. I think it's like to be the top comic creator that month. Even though Wizard Magazine still isn't coming out, I see everybody still acting like they're trying to be this month's big popular thing in Wizard's top 10 writers, top 10 artists. And it's like, why do this for the company? Why not make this uh, your own character at DC Comics or just say, you know, I'm, I'm making this character as a webtoon or I'm making this character as an image comic or something like that. I'm still shocked. Even if there is a great deal behind this, meaning you're going to get like uh, movie money, video game money on this version of Batman, chances are if this thing doesn't sell at least 12 issues, Will it be anything? Will it be a video game? Will it be a movie? Will it be whatever? And I, I actually don't think it will. I'll tell you why. Because with the ticking clock, and I don't think any any of these companies have patience for anything to gel, I think prematurely they will pull away from this about 10 issues in, if it makes that. And I think they will, again, have a different version of Batman around the corner. And then the same thing's going to happen to that version of Batman and that version of Batman. This actual deadline before this intellectual property is up for grabs for anybody who wants to touch it, or that version of Batman, pretty much I feel, I really do feel that like it's going to cause the company to try to generate as many variants of Batman as humanly possible in like, say, like 11 years. And it will erode the character. Just like adding a new Robin to the mix does not breathe life into Batman. It actually kind of dilutes the character, dilutes the brand of Robin or the identity of there even being a Robin or the concept of a Robin does not help. Again, like I would say Miles Morales Spider-Man did take hold, but even people, and people don't know this, but Axel Alonso, when Miles Morales Spider-Man first appeared in the comics, Marvel expected a bigger noise from it, more people uh, jumping up and down about it. Even though Miles Morales is a successful uh, character or variant of Spider-Man, it was uh, they expected better. I don't see that type of energy behind any of this absolute stuff. In the end, it just feels hollow, disingenuous, and the writers over here saying, oh, you don't like the symbol? Well, we're going to make it bigger. We're just making it bigger, guys. We're going to make it bigger. Taunting an audience and pretending like you're hate-selling or something like that. You see, this isn't about diversity this time. This isn't about a gender swap. This isn't about the community. 
or any of those tactics. This is about like, hey, dude, this doesn't look like Batman. This doesn't look cool. This isn't what um, I usually buy a Batman book for. This isn't my brand. Why are you switching my brand around on me, dude? I come to Batman to buy Batman, not to buy whatever the shit this is. And uh, look, I feel you. But at the same time, you know, DC Comics uh, not looking so great, really needing to uh, get Batman, get the nose up on the plane. You're about to hit the mountains, guys. If you guys will, please uh, check out Inglorious Rex Volume uh, 3. We're on our third book of our brand new independent comic. Over here, if you're new to Inglorious Rex, if you go over here to shop, you can pick up copies of Inglorious Rex in our store that will ship to you tomorrow if you're a brand new reader. Or go over here, and we do offer a collection, if you're willing to wait, um, with Volume 3. And you can pick up that tier and uh, be all set for Inglorious Rex 3. We have about eight days left on the first 30 days. If you guys will, please go over here, check this campaign out. I will leave you guys with a trailer for this. And we will catch you guys again with another video. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Truth always hurts worse. Doing good till first reverse. Now you last. Blast of the bad. It's cool though. Last car player right. Who no. We never let up. Been down forever. Sick man, we fed up. Know that we tired. Wake up the beast that's been sleeping inside. It's time to ride. We ready to slide. Hard headed. I will not listen if you do not get it. That's your bag. No keeping up, sniper division, it's no seeing us. This here is earned.